Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to continue talking about views. As you see, I am in the documents library on my finance site here. I have a bunch of documents and I've created uh, some columns, some list columns, and also I've created two views to show the information in different ways. First, all documents, then 2010 which uh, is hiding some of the columns and then the grouped view which is showing all of the documents grouped by year and then grouped by a uh, document type. Now I'm going to talk about the default view. If you're coming from the file system you might want to put this as the default view because that's probably how it looked in the file system. You do that by modifying this view and simply checking this box to make this the default view. What happens then is that if I go in, let's say I could just go back to the top uh, home page of my site here and then just click this documents link or this document link or of course site contents and this document links, whichever way I end up there, you see it, this is the default view that I'm being shown here. That's rather powerful and of course also if I type in the address to that view, you see now if I copy the shortcut there, I'll just take a look at that and just show it in Notepad. There we go, that's the view. Uh, and as you see, if I take away that link now and just point to that, that link will always take me to the default view of that document library. So the default view is an important thing. So as I said, you might want to put a grouped view as the default because that's what people are used to from this file system. They're used to a view based on folders, which I don't recommend. So I recommend making columns instead, but showing a grouped view if, if you need it to look as it did before. However, you should be aware that there is a price tag for this. You have probably seen in previous demos that I can go in and change the tagging or the categorization of my documents by going into the library and going to quick edit. And that's really powerful. You can just change the categorization like that. Just switch the row when you've done that modification. And so quick edit is um, really powerful. However, if you're in a grouped view, see I click into grouped view and go into the library, there's no quick edit. It doesn't work. Um, that's a missing feature or bug, however you want to look at it, but it doesn't work. So it's not something that you've done wrong, it just doesn't work. Based on the, uh, on the grouping here, if you're starting with a grouped view, then you can't go into quick edit. So that's the price you pay for a grouped view. However, of course, you get the, the numbers, the counting, and you get the benefit of having the view as it looked before in the file system. So there are pros and cons of everything, of course, and I want to give you the full picture. Of course, uh, you can change it back if you want another view to become the default one again then you can just go to that view, modify the view and check the box for that view. And that will now become the default. It's the first to the left and it's there when I click on the different links. And also, of course, when I open that, go to that link, that takes me to the default view again. And that concludes my demonstration on default views. Thank you for watching this one.